a rather remote car park for Skorgoi. Again, I'm sorry if that's really wrong, but I looked it up and that's the best approximation of the garlic that I can do. This is a, a mono, um, so I'm going to attempt to hike up there today. I feel all right. My legs feel all right after yesterday, so we're going to see how we go. Uh, if I don't make the top, that's fine. It's been really foggy this morning, but it is lifting, so I'm confident that we'll get weather similar to yesterday. It's nearly 10 o'clock, which is later than I intended, but the clouds still down on the top of the mountain. So I head off. <laughs> is the Alt Nam Bo. Driving along the main roads, whenever I'm up in a place like this, I always think, wow, wouldn't it be lovely to go walking on those hillsides? Just be out, away from everything. And it is really lovely to be in the peace and quiet with no one up here. But it's starting to get hot. <laughs> and it's really tiring. And I'm only a fraction of the way there. This is the Alt Kora Nakoikya. Sounds beautiful. I'm following the directions that I found online for the summit, but there's more than one way up. That's hard going. Started off somewhere in that direction. And I think that might be the next creek that I need to cross. The little stream burbling along here is the Alta Cromalton. Again, apologies if my garlic pronunciation is terrible. This is the last of the little streams to cross before heading up that way. And to the summit, the weather stayed good. So I'm very excited to get up to the top. Second thoughts, I think this might be the Alta Coralton. It's rather bigger. Ah, it's so loud. Really beautiful. There are a few more people up here now. in places so it's good to be up here in dry weather oh this stream is just it's so pretty with the sun sparkling on it A 
couple of hill runners just now passed me while I was taking pictures of Alta Kamalton. One of them said, watch out for sharks. <laughs> People are so helpful and friendly, aren't they? When you're someone who has asthma, isn't all that fit and doesn't hike mountains very often. It's pretty tiring. It's really steep. Whew. Good luck, you. Thanks, I appreciate that. I sat down for a little rest uh, at the can, uh, somewhere right there. But apart from that few minutes, it's taking me about an hour to get where I am from the creek. And that's where I still have to go. <laughs> I know I'm slow, but this is really hard work. This bit's quite boggy too. Now, I'd have to check, but I have a feeling that over there, uh, there, might be Crackvec, where I was yesterday. Well, I'm up on the ridge, but the directions I found a bit confusing towards the end. So I seem to have gone a little bit far from the route. So I've ended up um, a bit far south of the summit. There's a nice view over there, but I think the summit is around that way. I'm not quite sure, but I'm having a rest for the moment because I'm absolutely knackered. So I might wander over, see how far it is. I've got my raincoat on at the moment just to keep the flies and the sun off because midges, I think, they're just everywhere. See how I feel in a minute. Otherwise we might call it a day and head back down again. It seems I'm not the only one to have come this way. It's a little bit of a path here. That's nice to know. So the instructions I'd read talked about the path disappearing. Well, that looks like a clear enough path to me. But the instructions online said to go slightly to the south of east, which actually doesn't seem to match the map, nor the reality when I was here. Certainly not what my compass said, so I feel like I was led astray a little bit. And because the people who had passed me had got out of sight by that point, I couldn't follow them. So I feel a bit grumpy about that. but. I've had a rest, so I think I can possibly make it up there and hopefully we'll see the view properly. Ah, oh, finally, after all this and getting really, really frustrated and exhausted, this is what I came to see.
this is going to be a quick one. There are <laughs> clouds of midges here. It's just disgusting. Um, I'm covered in repellent, but even so, you, I don't know if you can see them in the camera. Clouds. Um, I am really pleased that I made it here after having a little rest. <sighs> it's spectacularly beautiful, and I wish I could stay longer. I'd really planned to have a good long rest here and take it all in, but honestly, these little beasties are just horrendous. There, there's so many of them, and they just get everywhere. Um, so, one last look, and then I'll be off, I think. <sighs> in the glider once. It was a lot of fun. That water tastes so good. It's very cold, which is just what you want after a long hike on a hot day. It tastes fresh and pure. You can't get any fresher than this. Years ago, when I was going hiking in Australia, on, I think it was in the Kosciuszko National Park, I looked up the same question, if it was safe to drink water in the mountains. And in Australia, they say no. It is insane. I think because of the wildlife and what they feed in the water. And now we're back to the first stream that came across today. Bit of the intensity has gone out of the sun and there's a bit more wind popping up here and there and it's not far to go now. already fallen over on these pebbles. This is what it looks like. It's fine going up, but it's tricky coming down because it's dry and loose. So I did fall down. Thankfully only once so far, touch wood. This is the pine wood that was the first stage of this hike, this very long hike. So not long now till I'm back at the car park and the end of my hike. It's been amazing, but a very long day for someone who is not used to this.